Uh, so let's go to edit and then preferences right here. Okay. So once we're inside the uh, Blender preferences, uh, make sure you're in, uh, go to the add-on section, okay? And the add-on we want to enable, which is already here, you don't need to install it, you just have to enable it, is Grease Pencil Tool. So I'm just gonna type in Grease and then you will see it right here, it'll be unchecked. Mine is already on, so. You'll see it right here grayed out and then put a check mark on that one, okay? Once you do that, it's already active. So if I click this one and close it, there's no save or OK button. So yeah, just as long as you close this one and then that means that add-on is already active. So to enable the add-on or to see it, click on uh, the sidebar or I mean uh, press the N for Nancy keyboard shortcut. Okay, and then you will see here on the tab is a grease pencil. Okay, so um, you can't str uh, do box deform straight stroke and all this uh, other goodies with it but the good things here are the zoom one one so if you click that it goes one to one with whatever screen you have and then zoom fit which kind of goes to uh, uh, whatever the resolution is it, 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 it's, it will zoom fit it so just those two things right there it's uh, quite important, all right? So one-to-one -one is your resolution versus your, I mean, your screen size um, ver and one-to-one uh, -one with your resolution. So my screen, I think it's close to 4K or it's a 5K retina. So if I actually increase the resolution in Grease Pencil, it will fill up the screen. So one-to-one -one with your drawing um, canvas with your monitor resolution, okay? Zoom fit, of course, just zooms that in. All right, is that any different than just kind of going like this? Yeah, that's the same thing, but it's just one click here, okay? Uh, straight stroke, of course, uh, it makes a straight line, okay? And then it just forces everything to be straight strokes, okay? Box deform, uh, let's, I don't wish kind of show that, okay? You can do box deform and then you can actually grab those corners so you can taper, all right? So great for, let's say, bouncing ball, and you want to create that uh, bouncing ball, and you can squash your ball like so. All right, and then you have to uh, press Enter to enable it. Okay, so these tools you'll be able to access pressing N using the sidebar. But the most important thing here is, let me start a new one, okay? Don't save. Press N grease pencil zoom fit is right here while you have the stroke selected in grease pencil you're on the first tab okay you see where it says brushes right here so by default the brushes are these they're quite useful I usually just use ink pen and pencil all right for some shading every now and then I use uh, the markers okay but if you want uh, extra brushes you have, once you turn on the add-on grease pencil tool, you'll have access to this. So down here, to your right, where it says brushes, there's a down arrow. And on this down arrow, uh, arrow is that, you'll see it where it says download and import texture brush pack. When you click this, which uh, takes a while right there, it downloaded new uh, brushes. I think when you start a new file, you have to do this again because they go kind of disappear. You only get the default. Not unless you uh, kind of create a, um, a fake user for it, but they still disappear. All right. So where can you find those now? So over here with a pencil, now you have those choices. All right. So let's say we kind of create like a little mountain like so. Okay. And then you can now change. So let's say you want some cheesy grass. <laughs> All right. So there, these are actually a lot of um, vector uh, um, points and whatnot. Okay. Of course, you can change the radius. You can shrink it down to. Uh... All right. Uh, you can change the strength, so on and so forth. So there's quite a few right here. Clouds are, depending on you know how 
you would imagine a cloud should be more like painterly cloud you know than anything but again any any brush is a welcome all right so um, especially when you're doing just some background work all right so there's plenty of stuff here to kind of just play a bit all right so and then you can change of course the stroke the fall off all that stuff that uh, you want to do with a brush that will be here just be careful with this because they're kind of um, taxing to the computer okay so again it's the down arrow over here and you can download and import those brush packs okay so you can add more to it but most likely for project uh, you know you'll be using because uh, it's a heritage type uh, kind of design um, oops, did I just Looks like it won't go back to the oh, there you go solid stroke all right um, you know it's it's totally up to you or pencil right or some of the heritage type where your background is uh, it's darker and then you can go with a with a lighter or uh, like a chalk type um, ink or color all right so for now that's what it is a grease pencil zoom fit zoom one uh, one to one box the form straight stroke and then download and import texture brush pack okay so you get those uh, by enabling again under edit preferences add-on and just type in grease it'll pop up in there put a check mark and you should be good to go and that's how you actually enable um, uh, add-ons that's already that comes with blender if it doesn't come with blender you got to click with install and then go find a zip file uh, click that and then it'll be checked that's how easy it is to add add-ons in grease pencil